Hi, this is Liz Fair, and these are records in my life. Fantastic. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How's thank it going? You. I'm well too. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on Records in My Life. Thank you for having me. This is exciting to talk about. Where Where are you these days? Los Angeles. Fantastic. So congratulations on your new record, A Long Time Coming Soberish. It's about to drop any day now. Can you give us a bit of, uh, give us the skinny on the album? It's an album that I produced with the uh, producer of my first album, Exile in Guyville. Um, and we haven't worked together in like 20 years. So it's the first sort of long form album that I've had in over a decade coming out on Chrysalis. First of all, were there any albums or what inspired you to, to put another one out? Because, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Um, I think it was just, I was ready. I guess um, I, I put out a box set with Matador Records um, that was sort of a comprehensive look at my early work. And maybe because I worked, I started talking to all the people that I'd begun my music career around, I felt more kind of ready. I understood. I got like seduced by Liz Fair all over again. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's make more music. That's fantastic. And you worked with you. You mentioned you alluded to like Brad Wood is, is Brad uh, Wood, yes. your producer, your partner in crime from many years ago. Yeah, a few things. What what are some of the records that he's because he's produced some like a lot of records and uh, I mean, just a whole variation of different bands. Do you have a couple of favorites that he's worked on over the years? Well, I always love Ben Lee's records. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's an incredible artist, and I've sung on a couple of his songs. He's a great song crafter. He's from Australia or New Zealand. I'm a little confused. I think Australia. Yeah. Um, Veruca Salt, um, right. other friends of ours from Chicago, Chicago. Who sort of came up right after me, um, Nina and Louise. Um, what else do I love that Brad's done? He's working on one now that I can't remember the name of, but it's this guy that layers guitar feedback, almost to this level of like, like monks chanting, you know, <laughs> so Brad, like he'll like send me snippets of stuff. He's working on in the studio. And I, I sort of was like, can we get him to put something on our record? <laughs> Could we just get like, yeah, very cool stuff. Now let's let's talk a bit too about Chicago because there's so many. I mean, it's got such a rich history. I know you weren't. I thought you were born in Chicago, but you weren't born in Chicago. You were born in Connecticut, if I I'm, if I stand corrected. So, uh, what about some of the other bands that kind of influenced you? Because I mean, there's such a long list from you know, of course, the old blues to like I mean, Steve Albini's there and um, many many oh. and. Sorry, and you also like material issue. I know you were close, and you work with those guys. Give us, give us some of your favorite records from from the town. You're you're hitting all the great. Uh, you're hitting all the great <laughs> bands. Um, Urge Overkill sure. was another band that I was friends with. Like Jim Ellis and Material Issue, obviously they were they were the biggest band that I knew of in Chicago at that point. But also Smashing Pumpkins, you know, that was an incredible band too. That really was more on the cutting edge of something that I think plays into my new record, Soberish, which is sort of that sound design, soundscapes. Smashing Pumpkins loved to do, you know, Billy in particular, kind of like really ambitious operatic type albums that were just very immersive. And I think he was way ahead of his time, if you look back. Sure. Um... Your new album, this is a tough question. Uh, they're all your babies. It's a Sophie's, I call it sometimes the Sophie's Choice question, and it's a terrible, and it's the subject itself terrible, but do you have a favorite song or one that one that you're most proud of? You're right. That's really mean to ask. <laughs> no, you know? it's, <laughs> it's so like, terrible. I, I mean, I guess right now my two favorites that maybe are in competition are Ba 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 and Soberish which are two songs that I was more exper experimental with. Ba Ba Ba, I 
ask Brad to speed up the track in a number of different places to symbolize how excited you are when you're about to meet someone that you have a crush on and your heart starts to race faster. So that's kind of a cool song, like an interesting switch and soberish is about waiting to hook up with someone and you're waiting in a hotel bar and you're so nervous that like they haven't shown up yet that you start doing shots. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to, that's always a good way to, uh, to relax the moment. I mean, uh, <laughs> alcohol, that's why it's social functions, right? Social that's why lubricant. alcohol. Social lubricant. <laughs> so let, let's, let's go back to your youth. Um, what are, give us a couple of records that inspired you to, uh, to start songwriting and because you're a songwriter, songwriter. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, so, so give us a cu couple of records. Well, one record that I was listening to a lot when I was um, working on Soberish was REM's Automatic for the People, which um, had that everybody hurts, you know, that, that big hit. And at the time, I was young enough to be kind of pissed off that they'd gone mainstream. I was like, oh, sure, now they've got a big hit, you know, like, and I thought that I knew them back when they were small, you know, that whole yeah, fan sure. thing, that fan snobbery. But revisiting that during 2020s, I was just walking these empty streets, you know, we were all going out at weird hours to try to avoid people. And I would just listen to this record and think, this is the first record I listened to in a Walkman. So huh. back, like, this is the first- That's a great memory. Soundtrack for my life, yeah. Yeah, the, you know what? The uh, the 21, the 21 year olds and under, they're not gonna know, they probably they're won't know what understand. a Walkman is. <laughs> like, what's, what's a Walkman? You know, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, what's, what music today like, are there some bands before you went into the studio? Were there any albums today that that um, inspired you that really make you, you know, kind of not necessarily write, you know, your songs, but kind of like put little nuances or touches? I know you mentioned that Brad Wood, the guitarist he was working with, but are there any other younger artists that you yeah, admire? Yeah, I've been listening to because I'm on Chrysalis, which is a UK label. Um, and I've always had a very strong uh sort of British music influence in my life. Uh, and I think I was thinking that way. One of the things I was listening to was Lily Allen's like, it's not you, it's me or like Shura. I don't know if you know the artist Shura. I was listening to her work a lot. Um, who else is really influencing me? I had a bunch of young female artists come across my path as I was touring in 2018 and 2019. And, you know, <laughs> Soccer Mommy was one of the ones that toured with me and she has such a sort of luminous, almost fairy-like voice, yet she's singing these intense stuff about relationships. And it reminded me of my early work sure. when I was doing girly sound, you know, like singing in a little girl voice, but about very kind of inappropriate stuff. I don't know if you've heard Bad Kitty on the record or- I've heard maybe, the album, yeah, uh, sure. Okay, so yeah, sure. they're just- I, I like soberish too because the chorus says we're dicking around like who says that <laughs> that's fantastic i know but you, you you've inspired a lot of there's a lot of young artists when you listen like if you listen to sirius xmu there are so many young female artists and that i mean that's a great feel that's a great thing because the playing field is kind of leveled out now like every second song or third song whatever like you know, art is art is art. It doesn't matter. It's a great art, whether a, whether a woman makes it or, or or a man makes it. You know, but it's just nice to hear so many uh, you know so many young women doing like great uh, yeah. like making great songs. I don't know if you if you notice so that many too. more. There's so many more than there were when I was growing up. And I meet a new future friend in the music business almost every day on social media. It, there isn't a day that goes by that I'm not introduced to new music by a young woman who's totally in charge of her own image, you know, which is totally different and very exciting, very inspirational. Well, it's fantastic. I mean, it because, you know, now you have the power to make the records that uh, nobody's going to tell you, especially women, to, you know, you know, you got to look like this or you got to have this style. It's like, a <laughs> right. big, yeah. So, I mean, I, it must, imp I mean, you've always, you, you've always had that kind of like self-confidence, but for, for the younger women, it's just like, you know, they're, they're doing their own thing and it's like, you know, they don't have to look like, uh, 
I don't know who, but anyway, you know, they don't have to look like they don't have to look like anything that a guy thinks they should look like, and they don't have to look like each other. They, right. There's no like sort of like you know everyone's Madonna this year. You know what I mean? Like no one's imitating anyone else, which is really I think very, very new. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's refreshing for the music fan for sure. And uh, so, are you are you totally excited, nervous because the records drop? Sober is just dropping. Uh, very very soon is there anything else you could share with us about the record uh any any little i am nervous about it i'm excited too um here's a little interesting tidbit because we were in um lockdown for pandemic my son did all the artwork fantastic so that's my son's computer graphic like design style which was you know kind of neat totally family a, a fa family, so the a family, a family. Business. Yeah, we had a family business over 2020 <laughs> that's fantastic you know fantastic artistic uh, I'm very proud of them. that's terrific and when and, and tell us when the album drops again june 4th june 4th on chrysalis yes yep. uh, thank you again for being on on records of my life liz uh, just a couple couple more questions we like to ask everybody uh weed wine or water to listen to your favorite album and to write uh weed for listening to my favorite album and water to write fantastic and what what album would that be to listen to? what's your my idea my favorite album of all time i have no, no idea no but, not of all time but what one of your favorite albums to listen to and and uh, okay talk talk spirit of eden spirit of eden that's a great one Let, let's go back to your high school years what record do you think of right away Madonna Lucky Star. Was that even a record? Uh, yeah. That's a, is that the name of the, uh, or the record or the know. single? Um, whatever that album, whatever that, uh, rec whatever that song was on, right. whatever record. Coffee with an artist, alive or dead. Coffee with an artist, alive or dead. Oh my God. Um, Van Gogh in the, uh, in the countryside. Oh, fantastic choice. Words of wisdom from Liz Fair to your fans and our audience. Moderation in all things, including moderation. Fantastic. And I was gonna ask you what, sorry, I forgot to ask you one more question, but I know you're going on tour. Is this confirmed with Alanis uh, in and 2022? Garbage. And yep. garbage, what a bill. So. I know. Talk about female empowerment. What what a way to travel around the country. I'm so excited. Have all have all the dates been are they locked down for 2022? I believe so. I mean, I'm the lowly opener of the opener, so I think you Not have to lower. check with the, that's above my pay grade, but yeah, I'm planning on it. I'm getting my outfits sorted. <laughs> Fantastic. And do you have the new do you have a new band or are you playing with the same um, same band? You, same, same band. band. Great bunch of people. Got to have people on the road that make you laugh. Liz, thank you so much, and best of luck with the new record. And uh, I hope you make it out to Vancouver. To, to... Oh, we better. Yeah. I better not be missing that on this stop. Fantastic. Th thanks again, and congratulations with everything. Thank you. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Mark Henning, the other half of Records in My Life. Love it that you made it to the end of the video. Please leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you really dug the show, we'd love it if you'd consider supporting us over at patreon.com forward slash R-I-M-L-T-V. Cheers and see you next week.